The unemployment rate in the U.S. is continuing to come down. We hit a high of 10% unemployment back in the fall of 2009. The unemployment rate last month was down to 5.5%. I think that's a sign of real improvement, but we still have lots of problems that need to be solved. Well, uh, most importantly, we still have uh, high long-term unemployment. Almost 30% of the unemployed have been out of work for half a year or longer. Uh, that's down from a record of 45%, but it's still the highest it's been prior to the Great Recession. So that's one problem we need to address, I think. And uh, secondly, before the recession, we had rising inequality, and that continues to be a problem in the U.S. When it comes to inequality, the less educated uh, are having the greatest difficulty. When it comes to long-term unemployment, the problems are pretty well spread throughout the economy. And I think that's a sign of the wreckage created by the Great Recession. Uh, but long-term unemployment is greater among former construction workers, among manufacturing workers, among older workers. Um, but there's not one particular group which would totally solve the problem. I think we need a broad uh, a policy to address long-term unemployment. One very simple thing to do would be to have a tax credit for employers to hire the long-term unemployed. Uh, I'd also like us to do more to help the long-term unemployed stay engaged so that they don't just withdraw and become more and more isolated. Uh, we should encourage the long-term unemployed to volunteer, for example. Well, I'm a bit biased since I was part of the administration, and I do think that uh, we had a very forceful response, and I think one reason why the U.S. economy is recovering more quickly now than the Eurozone is because uh, we addressed problems in the financial system more quickly, uh, and also because we uh, had a, a powerful uh, stimulus. It didn't last long enough, in my view, but I think it helped to end the recession and put us on the path to recovery. That said, I think there is more that we should have done. I think we should have done more to encourage banks to lend, lend to small businesses, lend to uh, families so they could buy homes. In the U.S., we're seeing long-term unemployment decline, and in the Netherlands, long-term unemployment uh, has been rising. But if you look across industries, I think what you see is a pretty similar pattern in the Netherlands and the U.S. Uh, I think the Netherlands does more than the U.S. to help support the long-term unemployed. Uh, for example, the Netherlands does have a tax credit for older uh, long-term unemployed workers to encourage employers to hire them. Uh, the Netherlands does encourage the unemployed to volunteer. The Netherlands has a more generous safety net. So I think the Netherlands is in a stronger position to address the problem of long-term unemployment, but long-term unemployment is an issue in the Netherlands. I suspect it will be going forward. Uh, and I think it's important that the society as a whole does what it can to help encourage the long-term unemployed to go back to work.